now we will understand top multinational companies or the, let's say global leaders in structural engineering now whatever the company i have listed here these are working based on the epc contract now there are so many other companies as well those who are doing in house engineering now the first questions that comes in your mind is what is epc contract right so basically an epc contract is one of the most widely used construction contract especially the large and complex construction projects in industries such as oil and gas energy and infrastructures now epc stands for engineering procurement and construction so basically a epc contract is one of the most widely used construction contracts so it's a particular form of contracting arrangement used in some industries where the epc contractor is made responsible for all the activities from design procurement and construction to commissioning and handover of the project to the end user or owner also there are also few multinational companies which are doing in house engineering as well so i hope you are aware now what is epc so the engineering and construction contractor will carry out the detail engineering design of the project procure all the equipment and materials necessary and then construct to deliver a functioning facility or asset to their clients companies that offer epc projects are commonly referred to as epc contractors now just to give you an example let's say let's say reliance if they want to build a refinery they will hire a epc contractor like lnt right so they will do all the jobs related to engineering procurement and constructions now there are few in house engineering companies as well let's say air product so initially produces and supply industrial gases and chemicals so the company offers oxygen nitrogen and other like other gases like argon helium they are manufacturing all these gases and for all these gases whatever the plants they have to build they have their own in house engineering where all this process related to the engineering procurement and construction will be performed so i hope now you are aware with this two major difference epc contractor and in house engineering firms later on i will provide you a list of in house multinational companies as well but in today's session we gonna discuss today i am summarizing few multinational companies that are top now see this criteria for ranking the top multinational companies in structural engineering is usually based on the factors such as revenue their global presence and service offered by them and their reputation as well the sequence might vary but for your information let's get started so according to me the first one is the floor so this particular company is in more than 80 countries right and it provides comprehensive epc service for client across the diverse industries it is a holding company that it provides the their service in oil and gas industrial and infrastructures government and power sector right also this particular company is in the first fortune 500 rankings so their service basically includes engineering and design procurement fabrication construction and maintenance you can check out their website for more information also these are the engineering service provided by them in the engineering sectors second one backtail here i have specified the website name as well in india this particular company is in varodara and delhi it also operates in more than 50 countries so backtail corporation is also one of the american engineering procurement construction and project management company founded in san francisco these are the various categories of service offered by the backtail corporation it includes modularization master planning integrated epc development investment and finance later on we will discuss about this modularization category of the structure as well i haven't de described this category of the structures but we will learn about this in detail in the 
some another session third petrofac so petrofac is in the engineering and construction sector in the engineering and production sector also they have the project development execution and they are involved in the well engineering and decommissioning as well so that is also it's an international energy service company that designs builds manages and maintains oil gas refining petrochemicals and renewable energy infrastructures it is registered in jersey with its main corporate office on germany street london so this particular company's operational centers are in sharjah chennai mumbai abu dhabi saudi arabia and kuala lumpur also this particular company is listed in the london stock exchange so this one is also one of the global leaders in the energy sector you can check out their website for more information and details in india they have offices in chennai and mumbai next one worli so worli is operating in more than 40 countries across the globe and providing project and asset service in the energy chemicals and resource sectors in india they have offices in mumbai vadodara chennai so worli's basic service includes consulting engineering and design procurement construction and fabrication supply chain management modification and operations so they deliver projects in the energy chemicals and resource sectors next one jacobs so these are the various sectors in which jacobs is creating an impact they are in the advanced manufacturing energy and environment they are also in the life health and life science infrastructures national security and space now for your information jacobs has consistently ranked number 1 on both the engineering news record since 2018 They are in top 500 design firms and trench list technologies. Also, top they are in the top 15 trench list engineering firms. They operate in more than 50 countries like Singapore, Australia, New Zealand, China, Hong Kong, India, Malaysia. In India, they have offices in Navi Mumbai, Gurugram, Haryana, Kolkata, West Bengal. You can check out their website for more details. Next. Toyo Engineering Toyo Engineering majorly deals with oil and gas processing refineries petrochemicals fertilizers cryogenics power water and industrial sectors so Toyo India offers comprehensive solutions for executing projects and supports client for the entire life cycle of the project by undertaking the assignments for pre project activities activities during the project implementation and also post commissioning of the project Their global network is in India, Indonesia, Korea, China, Malaysia, Brazil, right? And each company operates its own EPC business in each country. In they have offices in Mumbai, New Delhi. You can check out their details. I have listed out the website here as well. Number seven, Technip. This particular company. is primarily in the energy business and they are active in three business segments in the subsea offshore and onshore majorly they are involved in the sectors like subsea fleet surface technology energy transition now you may ask the question what is fleet so basically a number of warships under a single command specifically an organization of ships and aircraft under the command of a flag officer so basically a commercial fleet a commercial fleet is a group of vehicles that are utilized by the company in order for it to pursue its business objectives commercial fleets are made up of fleet vehicles fleet vehicles are either owned by the business that operates them or leased from a third party provider so technip is primarily in this particular sector they are energy architects and global leader in the traditional and renewable energy industries technic fmc delivers innovative technologies systems and services to meet the world's energy needs 
now and in the future so they are also operating in 48 countries next is SNC now SNC group is a Canadian company based in Montreal that provides engineering procurement and construction services to various industries they are operating and providing their services in the design and engineering operation and maintenance decommissioning procurement and project construction and management now SNC is one of the global leaders who have acquired Atticans companies like Atticans Lincoln they are operating also in over the 50 countries in India they have offices in Mumbai Gurugram Bangalore next next is wood wood is one of the largest companies which is operating in more than 60 countries in India they have offices in Chennai Gurugram Kolkata now John Wood Group commonly known as wood it's a British multinational engineering and consulting business with headquarters in Aberdeen Scotland it is listed on the London Stock Exchange as well as FTSE 250 index they provides consultation management of assets and engineering services for the energy and material sectors so they are globally involved in this particular categories which I have already highlighted oil and gas petrochemicals and refinery hydrogen distribution and storage wind carbon capture their usage and storage you can check out their website for more details so I hope now you are aware that how our structural engineering is creating impact at the global level right now I have listed only 10 companies now there are so many different other companies as well which are based on the EPC contract so we will discuss all this list of the companies in the next video so I hope you found this video helpful share with those who needed this most those who are beginners and those who want to explore their career in structural engineering now you are aware once you refer all these particular companies just check out their website check out how they are creating impact in the world and you will be amazed how different categories of structures are designed in the world so stay tuned for more updates share this to those who want to build their career in the structural engineering don't just learn software learn concepts thank you